Less than one in four rape suspects in North Carolina are convicted. And that's in part because of state laws that appear to protect the rapist, not the victim. Joining me now, Kate Martin. She's an investigative reporter for the Carolina Public Press and also a part of a collaboration with 10 other news organizations that analyzed more than four years of sexual assault cases across North Carolina to come to these stunning conclusions that I had to ask, are you kidding me? I mean, walk me through why there is this law in North Carolina that seems to be protecting rapists. Well, it's actually a pair of legal precedents. One of them comes from 1979. Um, when you consent to a sex act, the, the state Supreme Court ruled that if you later wish to stop and you withdraw that consent, then the person you're having sex with can't be prosecuted for rape. So once it starts, one, you can't change your mind, yes. basically, is what you're saying. That's what the law states. Well, well, that's what that's what the legal precedent states, yes. And then the second part of it. Right. The second part it comes from a 2008 Court of Appeals legal precedent that ruled uh, that a woman uh, who incapacitated herself by drinking too much, uh, she her her assailant couldn't be convicted of rape. So there's a there's a part of state law that says if you have if you rape an incapacitated person, that's that's rape. But if you incapacitate yourself, then that's not the case. Mm. That's different from federal law, we should point out. Um, uh, from what I understand, there were some lawmakers that said, okay, we gotta change this. 2017, they, they put forth some ideas on how to change this. Legislature made no progress. Why, how is this possible? I mean, you, you gotta think there's no way you can lose on trying to change this law. Uh, you know, I wasn't in North Carolina at that time, but they're trying again, at least with the incapacitation uh, part. Uh, there's 60, 64 sponsors, I believe, at last count this morning uh, for House Bill 393 that would slightly change the wording of the law uh, where you can now uh, convict your rapist if you're too incapacitated to consent. Uh, regarding the withdrawal of consent, though, that's still up in the air. I hear there might be some movement at some point. I just don't know. What's the problem? Have you talked to lawmakers as to why they're not changing that? Well, again, I'm pretty new to the state, but there's a lot of reasons why uh, people aren't um, convicted of rape. So for instance, uh, juries tend to have ideas from watching these procedural crime shows that they need to have certain evidence before uh, convicting somebody. There's, there's just many reasons. Yeah, it, we have something, a quote up there saying our legal system is set up for defendants, not for victims. I mean, this just as uh, as a woman, as a human, this must have been so disheartening to do this investigative report, to realize that this is still out there in 2019. Well, we are the only state in the country that uh, with the withdrawal of consent legal precedent where you can't withdraw consent and then the person, if they don't stop, it's rape. The only state in the country. Yeah. Um, have you talked to victims who have experienced that their rapist walked away because of this? I talked to some sexual assault victim advocates, one, one whose name is Monika Johnson Hostler with the North Carolina Coalition Against Sexual Assault. She told me she tracks these cases where women withdraw consent in the, in the middle of the act. So uh, for instance, say you're having sex with somebody and they remove the condom in the middle of it. It's called stealthing. Uh, that some women would like to prosecute that for rape and because of the withdrawal of consent legal precedent here they can't um she told me that she talked to a couple of victims recently whose assailants raped them after they were just fooling around they hadn't even consented to sex and the district attorneys told these two victims that they didn't feel like a jury would convict um, this is a huge issue actually nationwide coming up in our one o'clock hour we're going to dig deeper into this i also have my simple truth on it for now kate martin thank you so much for being with us thank you